When we met, Jessica was deciding between being a synagogue executive director yeah. and being a cantor. And both of those jobs are pretty hard, um, but she is an exceptional musician. And I remember when I was deciding to go to cantorial school, my sort of thought process was I wanted something that combined my loves of Judaism and learning and music. And I definitely saw that in her. Everybody knew I was going to go to cantorial school before I did. So <laughs> I'll admit that I had a similar experience. Um, before I ended up here in cantorial school, I served as the ritual director at Temple Emmanuel in Providence under Cantor Brian Mayer. And at that time, he had encouraged me to apply to the cantorial school. He was giving me opportunities to lead services. He was engaging me in his choir and all of these things. Um, and I ended up applying to cantorial school before I had decided I wanted to even be a cantor. Uh, that was something I decided while I was in school. and. I slowly gave Jessica these opportunities to do things musical, administrative, and otherwise. Um, she's really good at them. Nothing that uh, a cantorial school couldn't polish, and you know, she is an empathetic person, which makes her the right kind of person to do pastoral work and not just musical work. Um, and since I already knew that she had you know, even if it was on the back burner of the back burner, she had this idea that cantorial school might be a good idea. Um, I talked a lot about my experience in cantorial school, hoping that it would sound appealing to her. <laughs> Yum ba dum bum, yum ba da dum bum, yum ba.